sense. Like, without like, boundaries. Yeah, that's what eternal is. No, no, no. Eternal is about time. Okay, so his, his uh, attributes are eternal and infinite, if that's what you want here. Yeah. Well, if that's what I want. No, I'm just wondering yeah, sure. if you believe that. So, yeah. uh, so, what does infinite mean in that circumstance? Like I said, it depends in what context you're talking. So, for example, if you're talking about uh, his attributes, they're absolute and eternal. Absolute and eternal. Yeah. Okay. So his attributes and, are and eternal infinite. and absolute, yes. And infinite. I think without it's, boundaries. Yeah, it, there's no boundaries. Without so. boundaries. Yes. So where does this reality fit in to an infinite uh, space? That, because it, it sounds like your argument would be there'd be a boundary around, because you, I believe... No, no, I said they're eternal. I didn't say they're they are finite. They're infinite means infinite, yeah. they are not finite. Yes. And they are not uh, they, bound by time and space. Yeah, okay. And they are so, eternal and they are absolute, yeah. And you also believe that Allah is not in this world? Allah is beyond, yeah. So yeah. Be, even before so, this world was there, so he's locked Allah out. existed. So he's, lo he's locked out of this world. What do you mean locked if out? If place doesn't apply to him, how can you say locked yeah. out? Well, because you're saying that he's infinite and everywhere, except here. We no, no, no. The word everywhere. Everywhere. When you say, he when you say he's not here, so Allah says in the Quran that he is closer to you than your juggler win. What does it imply? You said he was. Yeah, which, which means whatever is temporal, it's something that is, is beyond that. Yes? And he is able by his knowledge to know everything that's in this world. So just because he is not fixed to a time and space, which is not, he's, he, he transcends time and space, that means even before this world existed, he existed. So before I, he I created you're anything... You're answering my, my point though. What? Is that, um, you know, that he has, he, if you think of... Uh, I think you're uh, thinking in terms of time and space. No, no, no. That's why I told him. No, yeah. no, 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 no. You can your your job, question. in a way, is to you explain can, can my confusion, right? really, isn't it? Yeah, but your worldview is different from what we are telling you about well, no, God. It's philosophy, isn't it, in a way? So it's, it's it, in the same way as you've got contingent arguments and uh, the arguments around that, there's yeah. a philosophy around this. And so that, those principles have to be understood. And in the same way as you will speak to Christians and say, well, how does that work? And they say, well, I don't know, you know, why the Trinity is Trinity or whatever. You, you want more than that. You want either scriptural proof. Well, I'm not looking for a scriptural proof because I'm not Christian or Muslim. Yeah. But what I am looking But you, you must for, still have principles, right? For a philosophical yeah, argument. Even for a philosophical a, argument, you need some principles. Yes, yes. Exactly. Okay, so what is your understanding of God? So Let's no, start no, with no, that. No, 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 because I'm, I think what you're doing is you're coming from your understanding of no. God and you're trying to juxtapose that on Islam. No, no, I'm, I'm telling I'm, you in I'm, Islam. I'm asking you for this. Yeah, go on. Um, which is if you have God, which yeah. is before all other causes, and God then causes creation. Yeah. Where does that creation reside? In so the creation is part of the time and space, which is also creation of Allah. Is also a creation. Yes. Of Allah. And um, and where but Allah is separate to that creation. Allah is not part of the creation, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. So so if there was only Allah. Yes. As there was at, at one the time, yeah. At one time, in fact, before space time. Yeah, before the creation, yeah. Before the creation, yeah. And then uh, Allah creates a creation. Yeah. Uh, outside of Allah, but Allah is is absolute. You can't. He can't create Who's, anything outside. Yeah, but when Allah creates the creation, why would you say this is inside Allah? Well, I, I'm just saying. I'm saying the opposite is how does he make it outside? Of I want to just want to make a point. You, you, when you when you say outside of Allah, you already yeah. impose space. Exactly. Yeah. But we are saying when Allah well, I, is there. I just want you to explain. When Allah he transcends there, space okay. and time. No, no, I know that. So what, what we're saying. But is he's Muslim. created space and time. You, exactly. So where does that space and time go? Can it's I, still can there. I, can I, see, my <laughs> argument. <laughs> it's no, still but there. My, my argument is that actually this is all part of. Ah, I see. what you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like like you're saying. So he's already thinking of a plane. Let's say this is space. Yeah. And Allah is existing somewhere in the corner there. And then he has to create. No, no. That's what I was saying. The opposite. So, so where is Allah? before the creation okay, according so to it, so according to your understanding of Islam where do you think Allah is Allah is just is exactly without space and time so right where? so when he creates something yes 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 he creates space do you understand he yes. creates space where does he create that like I said space itself is a where that is the where but the if space you are, itself is the where just are, who is who is the only are if, 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 if there is one one what? Everything. No, no, no. Power. That's no, that's, that's your worldview. That's, you that's your worldview. No, no. One power. No, no. If there's only one, there's one Allah. Okay. No, okay. You name if there's one Allah, He's able to create space. That answers your question about where. 
does he create wait, wait, wait. No, yeah. oh, sorry what's the name of I forgot your name John, John. John. it does, do you, answer. Wait, wait, it does. Answer. okay so what is space to you then tell me what do you understand by space well no you're asking me I'm you're, asking you a very I'm valid question the, what is space I'm asking the question it's, no but you you need to understand how what does, I'm saying how does yeah. Allah who is everything? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We don't see everything. Oh, okay, all power. Yes. All power. Absolute power, yeah. Uh, absolute attribute. What are the attributes of Allah? 99 of them. You want me to list them all? The main. The main is first, He's a creator. Yeah. Yes. He's Ar Rahman. Ar Rahim means the, the merciful, the most gracious. Yes. He's. Uh, He's someone who... What who's about, more about his size, his power. Yeah, he's a summit. That means he's eternal and he's not dependent on anyone. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he's yeah, one, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. His yeah, yeah, oneness. Yeah. yeah. So these and are his, his... Yeah, and he's oneness. unlike any of his creations. Oneness. He's unlike any of his creations. Yeah, yeah. As well. So he's one... Unique oneness. Unique oneness. The word Ahad in There Arabic can language. be nothing before he created. There can be nothing else but Allah. Yeah, so Allah is yeah, uncreated. No, 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 he's no, no, uncreated, no, no, no. uncaused. Yeah, yeah, we got that bit. We got okay. the uncreated. So which, which bit do you don't get? What I'm asking about yeah. is that the state of Allah is there is just Allah being Allah. God. Yes, he's independent of the creation. Independent of the creation. Yes. And then um, in that beingness, he creates the universe, the world, whatever. No, no, not in his beingness. No, no, no. By his power of as a creator. Of his beingness. Yeah. Apart from his being, apart from, yeah, his, apart from his being, yes. he creates space. Yeah. And so in that space, he creates his creation. So I, I can't in, get any more clear. No, than no, that. no. But in the infinite Allah, to yes. create something in the same argument as contingency. But Allah, I told you. This is the Kalam cosmological argument yeah. in regarding infinite yeah. and eternal. How does? I mean, it, look, I, 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 you might ask me questions to try and explain it, but actually, I'm asking you the, the how to explain it, which would be helpful for you. Me. Believe the only explanation is the answers. It's no, not no, only no. answers. Questions also. Have I think no, I've, no, I've no, been more than but, clear. But, I think. No, no, no. But I said he created the creation outside himself. Outside, how did he do that? Well, by his power of creation. So oh, no, to no. create by his power to create. No, no, no. Creation. He's alcoholic, which means he's able to create. Creating isn't the issue, though. I've got. What is the issue? It's then? Not the creating. I think it's a space. Creating it outside yeah, of himself. Yeah. So for you, the issue is a space, right? Am I right? Outside of himself. John, the issue for you is space. Am I right? It's um, the space itself is a creation of Allah. Yeah. No, it's not the space that I. I think it is a space in your case. Okay. That is so, what you're trying to comprehend because you're saying if Allah is the only being. Yes, where did he create space? He Am I right? Create himself. I'll okay. tell you how. Am I right? So say, like say you've got a uh, swimming pool of water. Yeah. And that is no longer a swimming pool, as in having the walls, the floor, or, or the, uh, the the surface. It's infinite. It's an infinite amount of water. Yeah. Then it's not a swimming pool. No, I know. I, I've Very bad analogy. Topologically, a okay. swimming pool into infinity. <laughs> okay, infinite yeah? uh, swimming pool. Infinite water. Okay, infinite water. Yeah. yeah. And water. Yeah. So. Um, and say, say a different kind of uh, thing, that this water is God, where does this, and, and has the power and attributes of God, where does that God make a space for space? You see what I mean? We're a question of space. No, no, wait, wait, did I not say I his know, problem yeah. was space? Yeah, yeah. Location, yes? not space. But you're not using location semantics, it's just semantics. No, not bothering, come on. Okay, semantics. can you show me any location that, it, wait, wait, show me any location that was space. Go on, go on, John. What's that? Show me any location that's not space. A location that's not space. I yes. don't understand the question. Which means you're using semantics. So oh, every see, location is a space, and oh, every no, space no, 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 has no, no, a location okay, in it. No, no. So loc oh, okay, it's not semantics. I'll tell you why I, I why I distinguish a difference. It's okay, location. define location. Yes, location is yeah. a uh, an indices of where something is. Space could be anywhere. It's not location. Can a location area. exist no. without space? No, but that's not the. What that I'm is saying. exactly what you're saying. No, I'm saying no. I'm, no, no. These are totally John. John, your main issue is space. No, I've already figured no, that out. Location of it. Okay. Whether no, you use the term location or space. Well, yes? I, because just use location. No, but okay with when that? you say location, a location is a particular space. A particular space. A particular Is that space. more better understanding? Yeah, 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 okay, okay, explanation. So, for example, if I put in my GPS a particular postcode, yeah. it tells, takes me to a particular location. Yeah. You see what I mean? But if I just said on street... Um, I don't know. Prince, 2A, suppose. Yeah, say Street Prince of Wales or something like that. 
Then he'll take me to the street, but not a particular location on the street. You see what I mean? No, no, no. Yes. Now, there is a specific location, and there is a more general space. Which one is your issue with regards so to God creating? For me, yeah. it's about where, uh, outside of his infinite being, where you, where he would locate a creation. Anywhere. Anywhere. He can Not choose. Anywhere. Yes, it can be. If God wishes to create something, he can place it anywhere in the general space I think, that he is creating. I think, he's assuming, I think you're assuming yeah. that God A is a physical entity. I'm not. B, there is something that you can comprehend his essence. I'm not. For in order for you to say that God is infinite in essence, what essence do you mean? It's not a physical essence for he to create. God is like a big physical essence. That's what you're assuming, I think, is yeah, a think physical so. infinite essence. I think he's coming. he's going to create no space to create anything. So, this is what you're So, so he's coming from mind. the pantheistic worldview, know, yeah, which yeah. means it occupies all space. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, so you're coming from that worldview. We are saying that all that space itself is a creation. Yeah. I've made it very clear from the very beginning. You, 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 I understand what you're saying. That's not the so the point I'm trying to make. We're not meeting it. I think I am, but your worldview, because you're asking you're asking your question from a worldview of pantheism, which means every everything that exists. Kind of by the by, actually. No, it is because by the by. No, it's called a priori. You're coming from a presupposition. No, and no, this no, presupposition no, I'm of yours with the a priori um, argument of um, God's attributes being infinite, eternal, and when before creating there is only okay. God. Can I ask no, you? No, wait, there is only God. Sure, right? Let you, me can ask I, you might be able to answer no, this, but I, I, I think I, I don't want to. I don't mind losing an argument or. It's not about losing right. an argument. I, I do think it's. I, I do feel like it's an important thing to be clear about, if possible. Maybe it's not possible, but the point I'm saying is that you've got. God being an infinite, eternal, having all these all powerful attributes. And then you're saying that God creates, and I'm not questioning the creation. Uh, what I'm saying is that, you know, this, in, 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 and maybe this is a, a way of uh, arguing it, you can create within his eternalness, or he can create outside of his eternalness. And, and what I'm asking is, how does he create? Because if he creates outside of his eternalness, he is no longer eternal. He is bound by the thing that he's okay. created. It's like, so if you put a, if you put a ball, no, if you put a ball in the swimming pool or the, or the infinite water now the water isn't in the ball and uh, there I is see. a boundary yeah, it's space. and then there's it's a boundary space, yeah. there's a boundary around yeah. that is, ball which is in, is in. in and out a question of You're space yes or not I, look, the, yeah. this it is, is it not is. an argument to do yes or no is it in or out yeah. because I, no, could no, be no, arguing I, in in I would rather outside. you explain this I think John what you are what, when you say when you what do you understand by infinite God is that he occupies all space all location, hear me out, hear me out. All location out there, all space out there. Is that what you're trying to? No, I, no it, there is. A what do you understand by infinite God? What do you understand by it? Because I said his, his attributes are infinite, if you remember correctly. Yes? Yeah. So, for example, God is all loving. That means the, amount, the ability for him to love is so absolute that we cannot comprehend. Yes? His love is not the love that we, as human beings, all of his creation possess. So, if you put all the love of all the things out there, Yes, and if you place his love, it is like his love will be 99% compared to the 1% of the creation. You see what I mean? So when you talk about infinite attributes, sorry, could you repeat that? Last like 99% would be the value of love of God, and 1% would be the value of the are you love. Are saying that's the case, or you're saying that's not? The case? I think there's a hadith there, isn't it? A similar hadith about the amount of love that Allah shows or Allah has. The mercy of you. Yeah, the mercy of Allah. Yeah. Mercy, well, mercy, love, like they are under similar, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. You're moving all these words together today. But anyway, carry on. Yeah, yeah. Mercy, so, so the mercy of Allah basically supersedes that of the expression. Even by 100? By 99%. By 99%. Yeah, to, so it's a, it's, a, it's a ratio of 99 to 1. Yeah. Is that more clear? Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> so what, that's why I'm saying when he says his, his, uh, his mercy, one of his attributes, yes, is infinite, then we understand it in this sense. But what you're saying is that... Can, can I just, uh, just clarify yeah, yeah, that? Sure, no. See, what you're saying is that there is infinite mercy, he creates a creation, and one hundredth of his of the of the mercy that he had is now in the creation. Is that what you're No, saying? no, not one hundred. One nine, sorry, one, yeah. one ninety-nine. So one, let's say one percent. Well, it's not, one, just one hundredth is one percent. Yeah, anyway, so let's make it okay. easier. Yeah, one yeah, percent. Yeah. Is in the creation, yep. and 99% is what he possesses. Yes, yes, yes. And there's a, the hadith actually says that he retains this mercy for the day of judgment. 
the mercy that's in the creation. No, the mercy that is with him, the 99%. The 99%. Yes. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. He's it's not infinite mercy that he's got now. Well, infinite in the sense this 99% is just an analogy. Just a figure. Well, you know. It's an it analogy. Says, no, no, I'm, no, I'm no, not putting no. a value to it. Well, yeah, you are. Well, it's, got the, you, it's, it's an analogy. It's a ratio. It's not an analogy. An analogy is something very different. Okay, what do you understand by percent? No, well, what, you, you see what I mean? It's no, not no, exact. No, 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 no. It's a ratio. If you're saying that um, there's one hundred here and Allah has got the other ninety-nine, yeah. that's not an analogy. That's a ratio. Yeah, it's a ratio. Now, 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 now the, the amount of mercy that's in this creation is hard to define. But what we do well, know is one percent. We know that. We, yeah, but what we do know from the ratio is that that's ninety-nine. Yes, ninety-nine percent. Ninety-nine more. What, times what, it, 99. what it shows is basically this was an analogy given in the hadith. It, no, in the hadith is given as an analogy do, to show. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's to show the amount of mercy that Allah has retained for the day of judgment. So, if you divide the mercy of Allah into hundred parts, yes, we know that the humans and even the animals, yes, or the creation of Allah, like the other creations, they possess some form of mercy. So, a human, a, a mother showing mercy to her child, is also from Allah. Yes, so this is bestowed on the creation, but he has retained for himself the 99, the biggest, what do you say, percentage of it. I think this is exactly uh, supporting my argument. Okay. okay, anyway, but this is to show you that when we talk about his attributes being infinite, being absolute, being eternal, yes, is to show you that these are attributes, the 99 attributes which Allah has informed us already about, but it doesn't say anywhere in the Quran or in the Hadith. That when you when we speak about Allah being infinite, that He He's someone who had occupied all space and everything that Allah created is within that space or within Allah Himself. I think which is your main contention? Well, uh, Am I right? My, my, my is that your contention, is, right? One of my contention. Well, that's something contention. the main one. The other contention then that that comes from this 99 percent to one percent. Yeah. What about power? Power is a different attribute. Okay, but yes. how much does the universe I don't think power? I don't think it tells there's us. Not, in the, there's, no, there's, there's no hadith. But so we, we can we, only tell you what it, what okay. we have been informed. Okay. Nothing so, more than that. So okay. the so effectively what you're saying, and do correct me if I'm wrong, is that Allah has 100 percent of mercy and He puts one percent into His creation. Yes. Uh, and, and then, but he is not. That even though that's his attribute, he is not. Oh no, no, he hasn't given his attribute to the. You know, there are certain things like there's another hadith which says Allah created man in His image. Yes, which means many people say that this is the image. Some of them say that this is the image means Adam was created not from a child who was born of his mother and then he grew up. He had a particular what is a form in which he was created because he wasn't born like a normal child is born from a mother's womb which he has to grow up get yeah, bigger yeah. and then yeah uh, so but some others say that this is because certain uh, of human characteristics are seen in Allah like his love his mercy but his the degree of love and mercy in Allah is different to that of the of the human beings but anyway the first I think the first view is more correct in terms of Adam's own uh, image. So that's, that's but, okay, so yeah. answering your question yes, with yes. regards to uh, his attributes, so there are attributes that the human possesses, yes, but there are also, they might use the same name, for example, mercy, yes, so Ar-Rahman means the most merciful, this is an attribute only for Allah, but a man and a woman can also be Rahman, in the sense that they are merciful as well, to the children, maybe to the parents, yes. However, the degree of the two is different. Yes? Yeah. But what I'm saying, and, and the argument within, say, a pantheistic yeah. way, is that that's cohesive, that this universe or anything outside of the anything that can be imagined or is, is the sum total of everything. And it's infinite, and it's all powerful in itself. Um, but what you're saying. When you say it, do you, well, are you taking it, it as something as a sentient? Well, you know, I, I would see it as a, a, a conscious sentient um, consciousness, yeah. You think this entire universe has some form of consciousness? That it is consciousness, I think. Where's the that. evidence for that? Well, that's another argument. So what matters is consciousness. But, 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 I don't but the, know. But the, uh, the, like the issue, know. in a way, that I still don't get is that you've got somebody like Allah or the... the, the, the uh, Quranic understanding of Allah is that he's got infinite mercy, but actually now he's just got 99. No, 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 you, you misunderstood what I meant. Allah did not give his own attribute to the people. 
So why has he only got 99 now? That is just to show you the analogy of the amount of mercy Allah has reserved for the creation versus his. Reserved, exactly. That's exactly but that's not his said. attribute. The mercy given to the creation is not his attribute. No, but now his attribute. 99%. Look, look, the hadith says that Allah created 100 mercies. Uh, what? Allah created 100 mercies. 100 mercies. And he gave one of them to the creation. So now maybe that resolves oh, the so misconception. Mercy that you is have. a creation, not an attribute of Allah. He created a hundred mercy. So, it, so that's what saying. Can I finish on yeah, sure, go for Okay, it. Allah created a hundred mercy. Yeah. Mercy is something not to be measured. Mercy is not a physical thing that you say this is one percent of mercy, two percent of mercy. This is an analogy. Yeah. This is an analogy. It's an analogy. That's what I told you. Given to us that Allah created a hundred mercies. He placed one of these mercies in the creation that we use to be merciful with each other, and that mercy would be also back in the day of judgment with the other hundred mercies. So Allah is showing us his mercy in the day of judgment. He's not saying from my mercy. Exactly. He did not share mercies, his attribute with the And I give you one of my so, hundred mercies. So, so, so this so is, I think, you, this you is what you understand. First, firstly, you said it wasn't to be counted, but you gave her a hundred of them. But the issue, I, that, I no, said no, the issue, the that, attribute of Allah, not yeah, the ones no, no. he created. You're, you're confusing oh, both. So you're saying that he's got the infinite mercy and yeah. then he made another hundred mercies. Allah created a hundred mercies. What is mercy? Hundred parts. Hundred parts of mercy. Hundred parts of mercy. So there are only a hundred parts of mercy. To, for the creation. You, the problem is if you don't allow me to say what I'm saying, obviously you will not understand what I'm saying. You tell me, answer my question, but when I speak, you interrupt me every two seconds, right? So what I'm saying is this: Allah has attributes of mercy is not the hundred parts of mercy that He created. What is mercy? Let mercy me is not a physical thing. You cannot yourself. Yeah, bring the hadith. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. You cannot yourself say that a mercy is a physical tangible thing that you take a part of or you, or you give. So Allah created a hundred mercy. Why is this hundred mercies? I don't know. We don't know. It's not a physical thing. And then Allah gave, yeah, yeah, I'll finish now. And then Allah gave the creation one of these hundred mercies that they used to be merciful with each other. So it's not his attribute. That's why I said it's not to be counted. Go ahead. So what you're saying is that the mercy that, and this is why I was interrupting you because, you know, I'm just trying to make it a bit more concise, is that are you saying that Allah has infinite mercy and then on top of that made a hundred mercies? This hundred mercies he made, he did not make for himself. I didn't say that. I'm, I'm asking you step by step. Oh yeah. Did Allah has infinite mercy. Allah created a hundred parts of mercies. He gave one yeah. to the creation that yeah. we're using. To and where's the other 99? The other 99 are still reserved. He's reserved. Reserved. Oh, here it is. Why would he need yeah, to yeah. reserve it? Really okay, fun. here it is. In Sahih Muslim, it is narrated from Abu Huraira that the Prophet Sallallahu said, Allah has 100 parts of mercy of which he sent down one between the jinn, mankind, the animals and the insects by means of which they are compassionate and merciful to one another and by means of which wild animals are kind to their offspring and Allah has kept back 99 parts of mercy with which to be merciful to his slaves on the day of, on the day of resurrection. This is in Muslim uh, Al-Tawbah, I think that's a chapter 6908. Okay. Okay. So my understanding of that, uh, Surah, is uh, is that is it he did. It, it, hadith. Sorry, Hadith is that he didn't create a hundred parts of mercy. He gave. He endowed this creation with one part of a hundred. Yes. He yeah. has a hundred parts. No, of no, mercy. no. Yeah, no. But he didn't create them. He 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 endowed. He has a hundred parts. He endowed the creation with one. And um, and the other 99 are for judgment. Yeah, day. but yeah. but one thing you need to understand is that he did not give his That's own in contradiction to what you said. No, no, it's it's not because I think it's just the way he was explaining it. The main po the main point I think Muhammad wanted to make here is that his own attribute of mercy he did not give to the creation. Is that clear? I don't think it's clear from that. Well, it is basically if you if you see, uh, I think there's another hadith as well. Allah is, I think it's, 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 what did it actually say? Allah is a hundred Yeah, so, so what, this, what this hadith means based on, the scholars, him, based on the scholars is that Allah is more merciful than his creation. That's, that's the main emphasis on this hadith. And that's the reason he says the wild animals are merciful to his offspring as that's well. That's by the by when it comes yeah. to the death. But anyway, that's, that's a key point. So going back to the question which you asked about if Allah is infinite, where did he create? Isn't that, wasn't that your question? Your, main, origi your original question. Issue, yeah. yeah. So your main contention, I believe, is to do with the space. Because what you're imagining is when you say God is infinite, you're imagining that he should occupy all space. 
Am I well, right? Not space. Uh, just, location. Just, you want to call it location? Just be Allah. Just be one. Yeah. So where is Allah? If, if I ask you the question based yeah. on the Islamic perspective, yeah. I don't know what your understanding is. Yeah. Where is Allah? Allah is just Allah. No, where? I asked you where there is. There is no location. On the Islamic. Well, how do you know there's no location? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so that's what you need to first clarify. Because you the answer. Me. I'm asking you to clarify too. I think I've, I've already mentioned this several times that Allah transcends space and time. Yeah, yeah. Yes? So you cannot say Allah is in the east or in the west or in the south or north. Yes? In the Quran, also Allah, when He says, um, when He ascended on the throne, yes? Is, uh, what is it? Istawa al al arsh. Yes, this is also a particular direction, but in that sense as well, it is not the direction that we think like east, west, south, north. It just shows somewhere I, I up. I just want to read the hadith in Arabic as well. Yeah. I don't conceptualize so, uh, the hadith, like that. The hadith says in Arabic, Ja'al Allahu rahmata mi'ata juz'an. Allah made mercy a hundred part. Which yeah. mercy is that? I don't know. Okay. Don't know. So you, you, you're you imposing that, that this is the mercy of Allah. The okay. hadith doesn't say Allah made his mercy exactly. a hundred part. That not, was my point. Not his attributes. So, yeah. so I can answer that okay. point. Okay. okay, I'll finish the hadith. Okay. okay. The hadith says that Allah made mercy itself a hundred parts. He held 99 and he sent on earth one. From that one, the creation is merciful to each other. Yeah. yeah. That is what the hadith says. Yeah. Right. So the hadith doesn't say that Allah made his mercy a hundred parts, then he sent down one of his mercy to no, the no, creation no. and he kept 99. Yeah. He didn't that was my he made, point. No, no, no. He didn't um, in, in the one that Hashim no, This read. is the Arabic. I don't in know what the one Hashim read. Maybe, maybe the, I think the Arabic is more accurate than That's the English always. I, I, I went to the Arabic. That's why I went to the Arabic. Step by step. In the one that Hashim read, yeah. it's like God, God um, mercy was a hundred parts. No, it's the same but translated from this. It's the same right, reference. Sure, sure, that, sure. So that's but why that's I'm giving you that know, might be your a better translation. translation. Yeah. No, no, that might be. No, no, it's okay, 100%. But it's Look, translation, it says, your translation. I okay. can translate. Maybe the one I read that's wasn't very good translation. Maybe he's in better translation. Muhammad Ali's um, <laughs> translations, um, I can't really um, go by. Um, yes. I'm an Arabic native Arabic speaker. So, yeah. so I can translate to you a barbot now. No, 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 you can't. You don't, you don't Why like can't he? That. that means you don't I, want no, 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 Why no, can't he? Because look, I look. trust. No, okay. no, no, sorry. Go ahead. You know, actually translation is always very difficult as you've had lots of discussions Sure, about. that's why I don't yeah. need it. I exactly. speak the native language. Well, uh, even, even if you I... You speak Arabic? No, even when I'm speaking English to someone who's also a native English speaker, sure. they're going to have different interpretations of certain words. Like location not, and space. I'm not, I'm not putting interpretation <laughs> at all. But what I, what we can do is that we've got one in uh, Hashim own reference yeah. and that's why I have to go with that today why well, because, because, it's it's not mine. because it's not mine 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 well, if you want to, if you want to believe it, that's no, fine. Want to, but yeah. for, we, we want to establish the truth. And none of the scholars, from what I know, is that believe that any of the attributes of Allah can be given to yeah, a human, uh, to any of the creation. Definitely, yeah. And this is something none which is none of the attributes, of, of, Allah. The attributes of Allah. So Allah's attributes are only with for Him. Allah. Okay? It's not. It cannot be shared Even with the this creation. Mercy was yes, everything. His attribute, his attribute are unique and only applies to Even, Allah Himself. Even in no Hashim's else. hadith. It doesn't say Allah made his mercy a hundred parts. So still it doesn't agree no, with you. No, with no, your no, no, look, you, 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 you have to get his mercy. Yeah, 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 anyway, yeah, yeah, I think we, we, we probably go around in circles. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. but I think as long as you understand the main crux of the matter, that but the, you, the mercy of Allah supersedes everyone. No, but that's not the main crux of my argument. The know, main crux of the hadith yeah, yeah. I'm saying. No, for instance. The if, main crux of the hadith. Okay, another issue yes. is this. Um, now before you go to another issue, yeah, I want to ask you a question. No, it's the same theme, but it's the same theme. Okay, so it's not a... Like, I want to ask you on your, on your belief. Sure, sure, sure. A particular question, which is quite do, important. I'm happy for that. That's okay, no so problem. But um, the same with uh, Allah is all powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, what about it? But there's the power of my iPhone, the power of the sun. Yeah. So the creation has his own. So he, so he's created from infinite power. He's additionally created power in the creation. No, what you're doing is once again, you're you're not differentiating between the creator and the creation. So all the attributes apply only to the creator, Allah only. Okay. Whenever Allah gives power to his creation, or even the soul. The spirit that we have is a creation you of Allah. Any copy of still? No, I gave it away. Yeah. We have so, so what I'm saying is that everything that the humans possess as their characteristics, they're all created. Everything, the mercy, the love, uh, even things like the ability of power, yes, 
the will itself to do good and evil, all this is creation of Allah. Yeah. Yes? Everything that the creation possesses as its characteristics are all because of Allah. But none of it is of Allah. Do you see the difference between the creator and the creation? Well, let's see. I, I think that's what you're saying. But what I'm arguing... When Allah is, creates power it, for the creation, the then way, it's meant for the creation. It is not meant to be applied to Allah himself. In the same way if you, as you've got the Kalam cosmological argument. Yeah, that's what about it? Um, it, it kind of argues around the kind of uh, the uh, the contingency of yeah. things that follow. Because the Kalam cosmological argument is quite simple. Anything that begins to exist, yes, must have a cause. In a simple one line definition of the Kalam cosmological yeah. argument yeah. is that Allah did not begin to exist. So the creation began to exist. <laughs> and that's the reason I'm saying it has a cause and that cause is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah. and his ability and his power to create is what created all this. So one of the, re what is the way that uh, the Kalam the cosmological argument argued that? About that contingency, it yeah, it's contingency. Yeah, it's contingency. So Allah is not and, contingent. And, infinite. and that if things were infinite, um, the, they, they wouldn't get to the point of, uh, it can't be infinite. It's no, that's the infinite regression you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, the, that's again different. So that's that's what people though. who say that, who created Allah? Yes, because Allah is the uncreated Yes, he's the first cause yeah. and the uncreated yeah. uh, being. Yeah. That means that it doesn't apply, the, the infinite regression doesn't apply to him. Yes, because if everything had a creator, yes, then you would never have a creator or the creation. If you, yeah, 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 if you right, understand yeah. infinite regression. Because of infinite regression. Exactly. Yeah. So, so because of infinity and yeah. that kind of uh, aspect of absoluteness. Of, no, but the infinite that regression, area. that shows the fallacy of applying does everything should have a creation? So should have a creator, should have a cause. There has to be a point where this cause stops and it's not no more, no longer dependent or contingent on anyone else. So he is now necessary. But the reason the necessary why, being what's the argument as to why that has to happen is it's, it's, it's like you need to have a necessary uh, what do you say cause to bring everything else into existence. And this necessary cause is Allah. And then it couldn't Everything be, else is contingent. And it couldn't just go infinitely. No, it couldn't. Why? Because then you would have the infinite regression fallacy. Exactly. And that's why I'm, I'm using that same fallacy argument as that if you have an absolute being of yeah. Allah, that he can't. He can't what? He can't make something outside of himself and put a boundary around himself, around this universe, this world, that then he is not in. And my argument would be the opposing argument is that he is absolutely, or God is absolutely everywhere in everything. Yeah, but that's what you're doing. You're I trying know. to juxtapose your worldview. Yeah, you are because you're a pantheist. So no, you're I'm saying, step, if, no, no, you're step. saying that everything is God. Is it right? Yeah. Everything is God. That's not our view. That's your view. Okay. So now because that is not our view, you need to separate the creation from the creator, which is our view. The creator is a necessary, uh, he's, he's a necessary first cause or, or the uh, uncreated cause. Yes, the necessary being, not contingent being. You see what I mean? The creation is the contingent upon the creator. Now, neither is also the space which created. It's not something that you use the terms within and outside. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't apply in this case. Well, because you, wait, wait, why that, not? That's no, no, that's, I'll why tell you why not. Yeah. Because your worldview in which God is everything, that is not our worldview. If God is everything, so every atom in the universe, yes, is, what, is God basically for you, right? Every atom is God. And the space that it's in. Well, obviously you have an atom anywhere. Where there's no atom is also. Okay, let's say every space in the universe, okay? Yeah. Every single point of reference in the entire existence is God. Yeah. Yes? So whether it's, uh, I don't know, something very clean or something very dirty, all right? Even that is can be, according to you, something that is part of the universe and part of God. Yeah. And, but for us, that's not the case. We separate. Have you ever met a, have you ever met a dirty molecule? A dirty molecule? Well, I, I, I think uh, what you poop in the toilet is pretty, pretty dirty. Do you think, do you think I think more than a molecule, if you ask me. Do you think the, you think the molecule of poop and the molecule of uh, cake are different in their dirtiness? Which one do you prefer to eat? They're just molecules. Which one would you prefer They're to eat? Molecules. No, but which one would you prefer to eat? Would you so eat would molecules you, of, of the stones? To make a no, no, but which one would you eat and which one would you not eat? 
I'm I'm on a diet. God eating God. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I think that that speaks volumes. <laughs> that was a joke. I know, but I know you're not very good with those. No, no, I know the joke, but he went against you. You're the joke here. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> you're the that was called self-deprecating. Okay. No, but the thing the thing is this: we we do identify. It's also you could learn. Yeah, yeah we do ident identify things which are not clean and the things which are clean and that's what where hygiene comes in okay no, so everything just, unfortunately your your mind in, in the same way as you argue for my mind your mind is going into judgments of dirty and clean i we i i, I am a human being that understands the difference between you use the same judgment between, as me between judge and you use the same no, judgment no, no, no. But john you would never consume poop no, I know. Why I, is that? So, so what if I'm it's the same is, equal well, hygiene, I, I did I say I, water, pure I didn't water. Say, why would you not consume? I'm saying the difference between a yeah. molecule. Why are you using a molecule only? Well, that's a good, better question than saying, um, do I want to eat shit? Okay, let me let me rephrase this. Imagine this: if you knew there was a molecule of poop inside a pure glass of water, yeah. would you drink it? Yeah, absolutely. You would drink absolutely. it, even though you knew it. And you know what? Wait, you're, even you're though you are drinking it. it, because every bit of water we drink has got a molecule of poop. But sometimes ignorance is bliss. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that says more about but, you, Hashim. No, no, it doesn't, because I don't believe the Thames water has got poop in it. Oh my God, really? Maybe, and, and you, you shouldn't, believe and by the way, you shouldn't be drinking that. You, you should be drinking that. bottled water. You, don't, you, think bottled, <laughs> you should be drinking bottled water. Do you think bottled water? You, do, you don't think that the, uh, the water you drink from the tap's got any poop in no, it? I'm the bottled water. Uh, do, you, do you drink water from the tap? Uh, if I don't do have cook, bottled water do and... Um, do you yeah. cook in it? Or do you cook from bottled water? Process, anyway, uh, that, are, you saying going into... no, are you saying there is no difference because they're all molecules? Yeah. yeah. So would you eat a molecule of a stone? Yes. Alone? Yes. Okay. Come, we, we're going to bring No, no, no. no. If you can <laughs> get a molecule you know, of a stone, but, I'd be very impressed. But you know what he has done here? You know why you use example? Especially on a Sunday. You know, all of them... Get me a molecule. Brother, get me a many, molecule. Brother, brother, wait, wait. Do you know why you use the example of the molecule? Because it's yeah. so minute that know, it would make know. a difference. I know, I know. But would you, wait, wait. In a pantheistic world, world view, it's not just the molecule which is God or which is supposed to be yeah, everything, isn't pure. It? Yeah. So if I give you the whole poop, yes, would you eat that? No. Why we use the, I know why you use molecule. Because that is something you can ignore. But the whole poop you wouldn't. No, it's the fundamental particles. Is ah, the but, so, so but you wouldn't. So the same fundamental particle makes up that big piece of poop so as how well. how you make that distinction? You see what I mean? No, I think you're getting, a, you're getting a bit lost. But I'm not, the, I'm not. I think I'm being consistent here. Yeah? You, you, your, your kind of uh, viewpoint on this, and, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, yeah. is that you think actually uh, a pantheistic or everything being kind of God yeah. uh, can't be right because there is things that are unclean and not unclean. No, not only that. No, not no, no, but that was what you started. That is one with. of the examples, yes. yes. Thank you. One so of the examples. No, no, one thing yeah. at a time. So that was it. And why I said molecule is because to God, everything's molecules anyway, isn't it? You know, it what do you mean everything? No, well, well, yeah, God understands. How do you know God cannot create something that is non-material as well? Do you think spirits are material? No, no, no. But what no, no, I'm answer my is, question. No, what I'm saying is, is spirit that this world... No, this world is... Well, even this world, your consciousness, no, no, no. your consciousness, is that spirit? Is, is Sorry, is that um, uh, physical or metaphysical? We can come to that if you want, but the point is... <laughs> I've come to that because you're the one who brought up this the point. The point is, to some... To, no, to no, a, your to assertion a, doesn't work. To an omniscient being, yeah, yeah. it's just... Yeah. Your it's assertion just. that to God everything is molecule is yeah. completely false. It's just energy. No, that's not true at all. Yeah, I don't think I don't think everything in the... What's not energy? What's not energy? Your consciousness. How do you know? How do you know what is your consciousness? How do you know what is not energy? Because you are making an assertion that it is energy, so prove it to I, me. I, well, I, I haven't got my lab. You don't need a lab to see something that is metaphysical. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Why, how do I know it's not what? The energy? Okay, is my your, consciousness listen, energy? is your consciousness physical? We've had this before. The, 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 the point Did I'm we? saying I don't is think we what have. is your argument? Against my argument is very panthe simple. Panthe not everything in the world is something natural for, to a naturalistic, uh, from a naturalist perspective, material. So our world is not just material. To me, it is both physical and metaphysical. Yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah, and if you, especially if you speak about God, in my worldview, yeah. it is not something which is physical. In the sense that we perceive as physical. Yeah. Yes? It is something which is beyond scope of science. Yeah. So you cannot use a laboratory to identify God Almighty or even angels or even your own consciousness which is within you. You see what I mean? No one can observe the brain and try to say, oh, there is consciousness over there. 
You see what I mean? So not everything is atoms and molecules. That's what I'm trying to say. No, I know. And, and you know, in your, I, 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 I want to know, you know, earlier we talked about mercy. Yeah. And I think we touched upon justice and we touched upon other things, which are attributes of God Almighty. Let me ask you this. Is there justice in your worldview? Or pantheism? In my, in my, is there justice? Yes. Um, there is a there's concepts of justice within society. No, I'm not talking about human justice. I'm saying about your about your God's justice because you do believe God. This universe is conscious, and you yeah. said it is. Con so show me from the conscious universe. No. Yes. I, other than your human self or other humanity, that there is justice. Why would I be? I I, I don't. I, what, well, I'm not sure because you're asking me to prove something that I haven't even, you know. Do well, I, I? I think that the concept of justice mm -hmm. in 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 the way we'd normally do it is a human construct. Well, it's not really. To, well, no, from, no, but I'm just saying. Your your worldview is that what you're saying? Yeah, from your worldview, that it's a human construct. Okay. Uh, from a limited perspective, so it's a it's a concept that people utilise because they have a different perspective. But it's flawed. It can be flawed, right? What? The justice that is the humans have basically yeah, 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 yeah. imposed. For, flawed, for yeah. example, many people well, believe yeah, many, many people believe abortion is perfectly legal in this yeah. country. Yes, but from my worldview, from uh, from the Islamic perspective, yes, unless there is a um, what do you say exceptions like rape or something, it okay. is something that is I not. I explain it better. Is yeah. that from a uh, dualistic perspective that most people have, i.e., that people see themselves as separate, different, and that there's more than you know, there's the separation between people. Then justice is part of that dualistic view. What do you mean by dualistic? I'll come to it from a non-dualistic. Uh, I need to understand the yeah, term yeah. to understand I, you. It's easier to describe non-dualistic okay. from a non-dualistic right. viewpoint, where there is only one. There is only one entity of uh, consciousness. Uh, call it God, but uh, not Allah. Um, that, that's a non a non dual thing. That everything's one. You and me, all part of the same thing. So you are. And, but a dualistic. When we live in a dualistic perspective, then things like justice and morals and all of those other things. So which one is your view? Non-dualistic. So, so you don't believe in justice then? Yeah. I, I, I think that's kind of a straw man. Argument. It's not a straw man, it's a perfectly legitimate what I'm question. It's from a non-dualistic... Uh, uh, yeah, but you don't believe in non-dualistic. So you, you do believe in non-dualistic. Non yes. I'm non-dualistic. Exactly. So, so in your worldview... Well yes. Is that justice or not? Justice is a construct. Is a construct. But is it applicable? What do you mean? It means can you apply justice? What do you mean? From your worldview. From my world. Yes. It's not for me to apply justice or not. So who applies it then? Other people who, who have a dualistic perspective. So you are dependent on them to apply how justice to you? How can I'm you, not dependent how can on them you, for justice. How can you apply something that doesn't exist? In a non-dualistic view. I didn't say... No, no, you he, said in, no, in your... I said... You it, said in a non-dualistic... No, no, he is not just... Yeah, what he believes is like so everything is God. assuming that non-dualistic is the truth. Right? This is your yes, position. Yes, yes. So on a non-dualistic, there is yes. no true uh, justice. So how can we apply no, 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 something which doesn't exist? That. I didn't say that. This is one of the problems of Pantheist faith. You've got, to, you've got to be, uh, listen to what I'm saying. I said that it, 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 there is justice from a dualistic perspective, from a non-dualistic perspective. I'm how? How? From your perspective. No, no, he's saying, he's saying from his I'm perspective. I'm just saying okay. there, are mute, there, are, there are coexisting perspectives. So how is, from your, let's say if everyone was Pantheist in the world today, yeah. will there be any justice? It depends. I mean, it's one thing being pantheist, and there's another thing um, understanding what that actually means. I'm sure you understand it. it. Well, you know, it's a from your understanding, from yeah. your perspective, from your worldview. Imagine a yeah. hypoth hypo hypothetical situation. Let's say if everyone believes like you believe, yeah. yes, yeah. will there be justice in the world? And you were saying what you believe? Wait, 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 wait! I'm hearing something. Hopefully, yes. an answer. It, 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 it's not actual justice. It's I thought just so. Perfect, it's just I thought perfect, so. There's just perfection. So, in other words, no, no, wait, wait. what do you mean perfection? perfection? What do you mean? Perfection. Do you believe in good and evil at all? No. You don't believe. No. So, a murderer is good or evil, or neither? I don't label the behaviour of a murderer as good or evil. What do you label it as? It's just the consequence of everything that's happened. And what do you mean? What do you mean everything's happened? I think, I think, are you saying everyone it's out not, there is determined? Wait a minute. Every, are you saying everyone out there, even though they are capable capable of murdering, do you do you not see a 
do you not distinguish between those who murder, that means take the life of an innocent person, in contrast to those who do not take the life of an innocent person? Do you not see a distinction between the two? Yeah. So would you not label one as being something that is morally right and the other is morally wrong? No. So you don't have the, uh, even the concept of morality? Not in that way. Wow. I thought it was just justice. Looks like there's more to pantheism than uh, one could actually view it. Because what you are now saying is that all the morality that you teach your children, do you teach your children any morality? Um, do you tell them not to kill? Do you tell them not to uh, steal? I don't, I don't have to. Are you sure? What kind of a I parent know, have doesn't... You, have you told your... Yes, I do. I told them not to steal, not to lie. Not did to, not to do to something. Kill? Did you tell them not to kill? Yes, because this did is you? a part of the Quran. Did you yes, yes, it's part of the Quran, so I teach them, yes. But do you not? I don't need to. So you're, at what age would they realize that to kill someone is wrong? I, well, the thing is, it's, it's not just my influence, is it? There's, there's a whole societal influence. So you're depending on but someone think, who is non-pantheist, right? That, no, to impart think, a morality to your children. I think what, what I would say is that I believe that uh, human, humans, human consciousness, yeah. when we're in line with that consciousness and we're in line with the non-duality, um, that we wouldn't kill through understanding. Sorry, with, sorry, based on w line with whom? In line, in line with with, with uh, our our true being, so which I, is which what, is what what takes us away from. No, but you just said there's no morality yeah, no, in your give true me being. A second, yeah, no. There's what no concept of morality. Well, That's what, what he said. What takes us away? Yeah. Well, what takes us away from that is dualism. Is to think that you're different from me. To think that if I kill you and take your money, I will be better. No, off. I'm not saying from my no, worldview, no, 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 from, from your worldview. No, no, no. From a dualistic point of view, that's what people think, isn't it? Yeah. I can kill you, take your money, and then I will be better off. From a non-dualistic point of view, that's reality, right? Wait, from that's a possible in a real world. Yes, I know. Yes. Yeah. So, and the reason why it is is because people believe it. People believe that they can take something from somebody else and they would be better off whereas I believe is I wouldn't be better off in fact I'm a lot be no, a lot worse you see that is called morality what you just said there is morality yeah, when you say I will not be better off by stealing someone because it comes from a non-dual no it doesn't you actually yeah, you no. me, okay you tell me where did you get that morality from what do you mean to steal something wouldn't be right for you where did you get that from do you steal things from no, yourself? No, don't, don't put do the question. I'm asking you the question. Do you steal things from John, yourself? John, I'm asking you the question. My morality is very clear. My objective morality things? comes... Can you steal things from yourself? John, listen. My objective morality comes from the Quran and from the Sunnah. So I have a basis from where I draw my morality from. What is your fundamental source of what you would consider actually you already gave us the answer you said you don't have the concept of morality yeah. yes but just now what you described was actually morality You're right morality yes. why i understood that and that's why i asked you the question can you steal from yourself myself yes. uh it depends what do you mean by that if i'm being it's not really if i'm being dishonest to myself i believe that is stealing from myself what, how, can you give me an example of stealing from yourself by being dishonest with myself for example if i was doing something and I know that is wrong but I'm still in denial and doing that then I'm basically I'm the only one to be blamed yeah. for that you don't so, need you don't need um, Allah or a book or a scripture to tell you that no I do need for for most of the tell you that. listen listen for most of the morality that is out there at one point people thought that it was wrong yes but later on they said it is right I give you the example of abortion yes people before thought it was completely wrong to kill you kill the children in the womb but now it's perfectly legitimate and legal I don't know what your worldview is but I consider abortion to be something that is fundamentally wrong with the world if they if they make this legal yes however it's already legal in many countries including this one yes I would only accept it in exceptional cases like rape or where there is a danger to the mother or something like that because of the birth but we're like I told you in the in the case of rape, there is anyway, no, no, an exception. But, uh, but, what, but yeah, the but, question uh, is uh, difference no, in mor moral. Your, you, what is have, your? I'm you asking. Scriptural. Yeah. yeah what is your basis for anything which you consider as right and wrong? Or do you uh, not consider you as right me and that wrong? Before. You asked me so that. you don't consider anything as right and wrong? Uh, no. You don't. So do you do you teach anything up to your children that is right and wrong? What I teach uh, would be that actually the fearful, the, the fearful, uh, the, the actions that are driven by fear um, are self-destructive. Give me, I, I'll give you one example. Take. Can, can you, did you get what I said? That the actions driven by fear, yeah. by your your fearful beliefs, 
are self-destructive. Give an example. Um, so it would be like, uh, yeah, say it's the same thing as I, I have nothing, this person is rich, I will, I will be homeless and I need that money, I'll take that from them. That is self-destructive. Why? Because uh, because it's stealing from yourself. Because it's your own state. No, of you're mind. stealing from the poor guy. Your from the other guy. To, no, no, no. But it, it, it affects. How is it destructive you have an to the understanding? No, how? Yourself. When you say innate, where did that come from? Consciousness. Good. So there is some morality which is the innate, oh, which no, we no, call no, the no. fitra, yeah. <laughs> so you you have a, you have look, I haven't got the reason totally, you're teaching. I haven't got totally. John, uh, the reason you have to teach your child this. Shows it is not innate. No, 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 no. You just said it. I, 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 no, I asked you. No, I asked no. you. What do you would teach your child? You said this is what I'll teach a child, which means it's not innate. You're so, teaching him. So, so, so actually, if you listen to what I said yeah. earlier, is that when people uh, have fear, fear-driven behaviour, uh, that takes away from themselves. Uh, I don't and think stealing it takes away your own peace. How is stealing fear related? No, fear-related beliefs. If you've got a belief that is fear-driven... Yeah, but we're not talking about any I'm belief. We're talking about your belief. I'm just saying, yeah, but I'm just saying anyone. Okay, so in, your ex in the example for, you gave us with all. regards to stealing, right? For, for us all, if we, um, if we have a uh, belief, a stressful belief, that drives our behaviour, um, it's because we don't trust, in a sense, of the oneness of ourselves and this universe. It's not making any sense at all. I, I want to ask him one question. Sure. Do, you, do you have a car? If, if, if it made sense, you might think so. Do you have a car? Uh, no. You don't have a car. Do you have a house? Yes. Can you give me the key to your house? You've given yourself. Yeah. You've given yourself. Yeah, Can yeah. I have that? I, I could give you. And the address. Can I have and the address. I, you've given yourself. <laughs> Can you give yourself the key to your house? Yes. And the address. Do you see? Do you no, see? No, no. When no. you have the, such a worldview, it doesn't make any sense. It's not possible. Why are you not giving me my key? No, no. It's my key. Can I have my key? Yeah, yeah. Doesn't but the reality is that if you do, yeah. oh, that's a good point. Yeah, Everything yeah. else is mine. Yeah, hey, this is what he said. This is what he said. I'm yeah. telling him if everything is yours is mine. Yeah. I'm stealing from myself. Can I have my key back? Well, can I have my hat back? <laughs> the difference is, is when you're. Has he, have you got a nice wash there? <laughs> I'm happy. Sorry. Um, just kidding. Yeah. Gloves because it might be a bit cold. <laughs> you can have them if you want. Yeah. Okay. Let me give you an, let me give you another example. Take, you do do you teach your children not to lie? Um, I don't think that it's a matter of. Uh, I think what you would, what I would do is encourage uh, the, the the child to to be in their truth. It means you will teach them not to lie. In other words, I'm you're, not, you're no, just using of, a different terminology yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm to not, tell me in a roundabout way yeah. that yes, you'll teach them not to lie because lying is wrong. But, also, but earlier you you were under no, the no, 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 I mean, you you told us very very clearly that there is no concept of right and wrong in your worldview. Yeah. Why would you be teaching your child something actually, that is innate? You know, there's no need to teach him. Can I say, what I actually said is that I don't label it right or wrong. Well, yeah, that's semantics still. No, it's not semantics. It is. Well, if, if you're talking about the same concept in a different way, it's semantics. What I said is that I don't label it right or wrong. But what I did say is that um, given a fear-based kind of uh, behavior, that is self-destructive. I gave you the example no, of no, lying. No, 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 lying, so lying has yeah, got yeah, nothing. So it's How is it fear-based? Yeah, yeah, because it's like, did you, uh, did you break that plate? No, mummy, I didn't. Now, that's a lie because they fear the punishment for breaking the plate. Now, if you have a family, or Or, or wait, 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 or it is the best way for him to save himself. Yeah. From any well, consequences. I would say, Doesn't have to be fear. I would say, I would say, yes. well, no, that's fear of consequences. Yeah, but even the fear for him to get free is not the kind of fear that you're talking well, I about. I would encourage. It's, it's maybe well, not I to would, get him embarrassed or well, even, would, it doesn't have to be consequences. Well, would, yeah, well, that's, but, but, that's, why? no, 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 embarrassment is a consequence as well. I still have well. a question for him, very and, important and, question. And, uh, but but well, you will teach no, this no, to a child, right? Let me finish, let me finish. Yeah, sure. So, so what I would want to have with a child is that Yes, I broke it. Okay, that's fine. What happened? Oh, this happened. Da, da, da. And without judgment and punishment. Can you tell me why you teach them that? Why do you teach because them that any fear-driven action is not good? I didn't say it was How good. Did you... I didn't say it was good. Why is it? Why is I it? said it's self-destructive. It's self-destructive. It so why, why do you only state? teach them that? Why do you teach that? Where did you get that from? From an understanding you get that of my thoughts. Could, be, could it be wrong? Well, it's, it's not been wrong so far. 
could it oh, be anything wrong? Anything could be wrong. How is okay. how is a self-destructive? So how can you I still teach, don't know. How can you teach your children something which could be wrong? Yeah, how is a self-destructive? Which one do you want me to answer? Okay, go on. Answer yes, because you asked us. <laughs> how? Why would you teach your children something that could be wrong? Why you didn't let them come to their own conclusion like no, you did? No, no, I do let them. Come so why are you teaching them then that any action you're that teaching, is yeah. fear-driven? I, mean, I, I think what you. I think what you. If you listen to what I said, I didn't say I teach them that. I said I encourage them. Also, you just give them this principle and you let them find out by themselves. I encourage them about their understanding. Okay, is that is that based on trial and error? How do you mean? How do you mean means your experience? Whatever, for example, they wouldn't know what is lying. Yes. When you don't tell them what is lying, they don't know what's lying, right? This they will think that lying is okay. Uh, to be to be uh, insulting to others is okay. Well, that's Unle a different thing. No, no, it's not. Yeah, of course, it's a different thing, but it's, it all comes under morality. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, to to hurt someone by words is okay. To be. Uh, I think it would to be, be. I wouldn't be judging and saying that's really bad. I'd be saying what 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 happened for that child. Why would you ask them if it's I, not I'd wrong? I'd ask them. You know, when you said something hurtful to yeah. that person, I'd be saying what, what was going on for you. What no, happened? but why would you why would you even ask that unless you consider that I to be wrong? Care. Sorry, what do you say? Care. Out of care means, do you care consider that their, to be wrong? Care, no, 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 care for their state of mind. But, and their but emotional understanding. Lying, lying is not always fear driven. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Lying is not always fear driven. That's true. Can so you they could a, still can lie. Can you give me an example? Okay, someone might lie and Just act. Give an and act example. I'm giving yeah. an example. Act that he's a famous person because he likes to be famous. He likes people to praise him. Yeah, so good it's example. not that he's afraid of the people, but he wants, okay, I'm that famous person. Of so this is identity. a lie. I, I'm no, giving no, you an example. I, I got the example. example. Can I, okay. can I Go ahead. actually, Go are you sure he's not fear, fearful Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I think he's fearful of not getting attention. This is now and your that, diagnosis. That's he's my not, diagnosis. He, that's, that's your opinion. Yeah. He's saying so, he likes to be praised. Yes. That is the reason so he's lying. fear of a lack of praise. No, he wants to be praised. There's a difference between the two. How is that a fear? It's just nothing. He's trying to apply, to, obviously, to be, lying over. To be narcissist, narcissistic yes, is yeah. not really fear. Yeah, it is. It is just his ego. Really. It's huh? not fear. It's, it's an ego thing. No, no, it's yes. not. Narcissism. Are you saying Trump is fearful? Of what? I, I'm not, you know, <laughs> fearful. These I are couldn't internal. find anyone else to be as narcissistic. So if lying is not fear-driven, according like, to him, his children can lie if it's yeah. not fear-driven. No, 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 I didn't. You, look, you keep doing straw man comments it's not about what no, 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 I did not say that and you can watch the video. You said any action which is fear-driven yes. is self-destructive. Self self yes. So if it's not self-destructive, it's not fear-driven, they can do. If it's not, sorry, I, no, no, I, I didn't say what they can and can't do. No, they no, will I'm do saying, what they can I'm, do okay. and I will encourage so them. So if your children start to lie, will you tell them don't lie? I told you earlier that I would say, try to encourage the understanding, their self-understanding of why they lie. No, will you tell them specifically? Okay. They start lying to you, not to lie. No. Okay, have you done your homework? They say yes and they haven't done the homework. You're not going to later on tell them why haven't you done your homework? Why did you lie to me and he said you done your homework? So if your child grows and he starts killing you, or he kills your wife, for example, obviously that's a hypothetical example, right? If he kills your wife, give, give or he example. kills his sister. Give one of the examples. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I don't like to involve family. Yeah, yeah, we obviously that. Okay. So maybe let's say he kills an innocent, uh, innocent child. From a root, a root yeah. perspective let's say he kills like. an innocent he, child. Let's kill, yeah. say he killed someone. Yeah. Yeah. You are not going to tell him this is a wrong action that you should do. And he's doing the killing, not because it's fear driven, he just likes, likes killing. Yeah. So he decided to kill someone and he said you I only think, encouraged me I think to do something which is no, not no. fear driven. Okay, so first of all, you give an example um, of uh, a kind of a catastrophization of not teaching... Killing just happens. Can, 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 can I finish? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, an example of a catastrophization of someone where they, uh, because you haven't taught them not to lie, that they end up being uh, murderers. Now, I think things are not a little... Not only lying, yes. No, there are two different things examples. Things are a little yeah. bit more different sophisticated. Yeah, yeah. It's different and examples. actually, what they often have said about religion is that it's one of the few things that can make somebody kill despite their nature. Now, some people do kill... How do you mean? That, that, that actually people die or kill um, on the on the basis of their religious beliefs rather than on their personal Yeah, but that, that religious belief might be something that they themselves have interpreted wrongly. Exactly. You see what and I mean? that's what I would okay. say is that, that yeah. all of our interpretations are misinterpretations when they come to our stressful beliefs. Same thing applies to your consciousness. Yes. So what do you perceive as not being right and wrong actually are right and wrong? 
what you perceive, what you told us earlier about morality, yeah. there being no such construct or, or I, concept. I, I didn't say there's no such concept. I said that from a non-dualistic perspective. Yeah, from your perspective. perspective. From my perspective. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You said it doesn't exist. No, no. So, from, does, from your careful. perspective, does it exist? It's observable, isn't it? It exists. Well, you either believe it exists or it doesn't exist. Which one is yeah. it? What I'm saying is that I don't apply it. That's why I was no, asking him. No. Does it come. exist? That's the question. Exist. Morality. Morality, yes, people have a, 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 a self A sense of right and wrong. A set, a set, a set of... Uh, well, no, morality isn't just a set of uh, sense of right or wrong. Well, in a, in a loose... Well, no, we're not talking about loose, loose things here, are we, Hitchie? We're talking but, about but morality, the rules yeah. set by God as a standard. Not really. There are many atheists who believe in morality. Uh, in <laughs> they don't have to loose, believe in God. You know, in a loose way. But yeah. That's why I said loose. Hello. There's different types yeah, of no, morality. I mean, we're not talking about Moral in this kind of conversation. No, no. In this kind of conversation, no, no. Because you don't have a... You don't have a no, no. In your case, because you don't have a scripture, yeah. yes, you don't have something uh, observable right. or objective yeah. to say this is my fundamental laid out yes. Uh, rules. Yes. yes. So you make up as you go along by trial and error. Yeah. Well, that's straw man. But yeah. No, it's not. It is. Okay. So what is your fundamental? Sorry. What is your I'll source of you. of what and you would I, consider? Do I kind yeah. Of earlier you said that it is observable, right and wrong, or morality. It's observable, right? That's what you said. Uh, that other people have a set of... No, no, you observe it, right? That's a question. No, 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 no. That I'm saying is... Are you I saying even you don't observe it? I observe it in others. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. you do observe yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But how do you... How have you... How will you be f uh, figuring out what is right and what is wrong? Yeah, there, is, there, is, there is a big problem. You don't need to. There is so, so you're saying there is no need to know the consequences of what you would I consider... Can you, can you explain this to me, please? I didn't say uh, that. All over the place, John. Can I know the consequences you know, you know, of things. He, he's saying, you don't. He's I saying, know the, I know the consequences you, of things. There are different consequences very, for everything that is right and wrong. You're saying you observe morality and others is there. Yeah, how can you observe in, this non in a non-dualistic sure, perspective? I'm saying, how do you observe something which doesn't exist on your dualistic point of view? Non-dualistic point of view. By the How way, do you observe something which doesn't exist? Yeah. You're non-dualistic. No, you I still observe, observe morality? You, if I observe you talking about morality sure. and saying this that is bad, it exists. Yeah. Well, it doesn't. No, I'm Even on your non-dualistic okay. point of view. I've, I've got an example. Let's see. This this is not I'm nothing to do with uh, what you would consider as. Uh, sorry. What, right what is your principle again uh, for uh, teaching your children? Is yeah, uh, encouraging them to uh, to understand their their behaviour, the consequences, both internally and externally, and uh, ideally, although I don't think this is uh, possible. You know, it's part of a whole life, really. Um, of it's, of it's not, a learning. Not yeah, there's a learning thing. Okay, so trial and error. Of, it is trial and error. Come on, well, however you look at it, it's trial and error. Of not believing your stressful thoughts. Okay, here is a here's one example. Okay, let's say you know how to swim. Yes, you see someone drowning. Yeah. Yes, and you know that you can easily get that person out, but you don't do it. Would that be right or wrong in your worldview? I, well, you've already done another straw man. Is that, How is the question? Is that, is that, is that, right is that right How is a straw man? It's, because you're saying. When I right give you an analogy, I've already told, I've already told you that there is right or wrong. Yeah, but would I do it or not? Yeah, do it or not? I didn't ask you. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, the question is. If, would you rescue that person? Yes, I think I would. Okay, wow. and if you don't rescue that person, what would you consider that to be? I would, I would think about the reasons why I didn't. Let's see the reasons. You, do, you, do, there was no reason. Well, no. Other than you didn't. Reason. Other, other, other than you don't like that person, maybe. Then I would probably, uh, I could possibly feel bad about that. And that is the consequence. Yeah. Where's, where is fear in that? Yeah, the, the, no I, I, I said that if I uh, did a behaviour that was fearful, like I, I didn't like that person, and that person is a threat to me or diminishes my happiness. No, you just don't no, like him. Well, no threat to you. You don't like him. I have to give you the example already. Well, you don't like the person, so you let him drown. There's no one that I don't like enough to let drown. I'm not saying you. Uh, you know, everybody has probably got someone you don't like. <laughs> I'm sure. So for you to say you like you, there's no one in the entire world whom you don't like. Yeah, anyone, if I, if I, in that moment. Yeah, maybe not to the extent someone. that you want them to drown. Exactly. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, but I'm saying if there was someone that you hated so much yeah. that you would rather that they die, then you rescue them. 
well, it's very hypothetical, isn't it? I mean, I. It's not yeah. very hypothetical. It's, it's it perfectly it is because, possible. Because the, it's perfectly you know, possible. No, no. I tell you what. So, another example would be like somebody in a fire or in a house that's begun to to have fire. Yeah. Now, you might want to save that person, whether you love them or hate them. You still might want to save them. But also, you're going to be governed by an adrenalized uh, state of mind, which may be very, very fear-driven. That makes you kind of not think clearly and you might make a mistake you either might not say that person where you could have done so there's lots of different reasons and and i think if you have absolutist moralistic arg like constructive arguments i don't think that gets to the heart of the issue yeah. of i'm not saying that there are things that don't have consequences john the, the that, reason that, that things yeah. don't have consequences i'm saying that no no the reason i asked you to, the to reason i asked you that, that question or bad or bad or john the reason i asked you that question is that if it is from a muslim perspective yes we have to, if we are able to save a life, it is as if we have saved the whole of mankind. Sure. Yes, that is a principle which is enshrined in the Quran in Surah Al-Maidah, verse 31, 531. If you save a life, it is as if you have 32. saved the whole of mankind. 532. 532, yes. So this is a principle laid out in the Quran. But you, because you don't have any such laws, any such written rules, or any constitution yes. as such that yes. you would That's abide by, yes. so you do not fear the consequences. So that's the reason you said I will feel bad. Basically, that's that's what you would. That's what it boils down to. And, and, and what I'm saying is that because we have we you, have consequences, consequences which are for, the consequence for us. If is basically it's, it's, it's kind of, it's it's kind of murdering that case. Yeah. If I'm able to save yeah. someone and I, I don't save that person, then it is in a way which is murder. Unless and until you you better go to uh, some starving places and give all your money to uh, starving people who are going to die. Yeah. Because you're murdering people right now. No, it, that's on that's, that's on murdering. Yeah, Something yeah. you could be. Saving. Do you remember we I said? We could all be saving. No, no. Hundreds of Hold people on. right now. Do you, do you remember I said earlier if that, if if you knew how to swim and that yeah. person is in front of you? You're using your talent. You're not using any material thing which which you have been given or anything like that. And by the way, speaking of charity, that is one of the fundamental things in our religion as well. I know. So don't so don't tell no, us no, about no, charity. No, no, no. The Muslims are the about. most charitable people in this country, and this I has been think, mentioned you know, by this, David Cameron, the, ex, uh, the former this, prime minister of no this country. I have with that, but we're not talking about Muslims. We're talking about arguments here. No, I'm saying your my view and your view. Remember? Talking about the Muslims. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about your view and our view. If you have that uh, argument that. I, so what you you said to me is because I don't have scriptures, uh, there's no real consequence for me to not save that person. The reality is, yeah. I think I would try to save that any person in that situation. No, no, actually, we're not wait, saying wait, wait, only wait, scripture, wait, by the way. Wait, we're wait, actually, wait, wait, we're wait, actually. I, I, let me finish. So, so reality is that actually, it wouldn't. If it was you and me in this situation, we'd probably both jump in and try to save person. So I didn't need scripture to do that. And what I, what then you went on to say is that because of scripture, if you uh, on allow someone to die it's like you're uh, allowing everyone to die yeah. and the consequences are hellfire if you don't save someone yeah. yeah if you don't hellfire it's, it's possible i'm not saying that is a definite thing it is up to allah at the end of the day to judge how he would possible judge hellfire. so for example yeah okay okay i've got that but then the other or, issue, or maybe some sort of punishment i don't know the, the other issue and yeah. this comes in and i don't want to get into a big argument about yeah. this because it's kind of by the by is bottom line is that we are complicit in people dying when we could directly stop people dying yeah but because you do not believe in any consequences no, but if you do if you don't no, you no but in your case john if you don't do that what is the consequence people dying and if you don't do anything is there any consequence in your case think, other think, than you feeling bad i think if i well i think i think that in a sense uh, the consequence would take me from uh, likely uh, one, I don't think it would happen, but two, I think what likely it would do, it would be on my conscious, conscience. Exactly, and, you're and, just feeling bad about it, no, that's no, it. But I, I, that, that in itself is kind of it's hell. Not, no, no, it's not really it's hell, hell, is it? Hell, Come on. Yeah. You, know, you might you forget even, you know, that incident, you might forget within a year or even even a, a, a bit more. Think, I don't think he knows what fitra is. Do you know what fitra is? Yes. Okay, if you know what fitra is, you know that we're not only saying is the scripture, but also there is an innate disposition yes. given to you by yeah. the creator. Yes. If you say you will feel as bad inside of you, that is fitra. 
yeah. Feeling I, I, bad, I'm feeling, I'm feeling. I, I, in my world view, uh, I wouldn't use the word footprint, but I'm, I'm actually um, in the what? same state. We say, I, we say natural disposition. A yeah. natural disposition yeah. to uh, a, a loving kind of state. But when we, uh, and that we can be in that state, but what takes us away from that state is our fear-based thoughts. That's my... Okay, that's morality. That, so no, it's not morality. So if you were, if you were, let's say if you were a king, John, if you were a ruler of a country, yes, would you lay down any law at all? I, if I was a ruler of uh, a country, I would encourage understanding of people's minds. That wasn't my question. Would you lay down any laws at all? I, I, you know, I think I'd probably have to sit down at a table and think about that for a no, while. No, it's not really. You, you don't manifesto just like that. No, I'm not asking you to specify each and every law. I'm just asking, any. would you lay, would you lay down any law for the people, or would you ha rather have some sort of lawless society? Um, I, I don't know. Come on, be sincere. I know I, you know. I, I know you know. I know, honestly. I, I think. Okay, I, let's when say. I, when, I know, when I say I don't know, okay. is what I am actually saying is um, I I would have to think about that. Okay, logically what, speaking, what, what logically speaking, a society with laws is something that doesn't have chaos, or a society without laws will have chaos. Uh, you don't need religion I, for this. I, I think that's it's likely. Uh, it's likely because. Sorry, likely what? Likely that there would be chaos. Where? Definitely. In which, in which example? In the land. In the land which example? The, the one with laws or the one without, without laws? Without some laws, there's likely to be some. Uh, no, I'm chaos. saying no laws at all. I'm not saying some yeah, laws. Yeah, yeah. Without uh, laws. There's two societies. Let's say <laughs> one society has no laws at all, so it's just total anarchy, yeah. and the other other society has laws in it. And that means there's there's a rule of. Uh, uh, what's it? Law and you order. Killed, law and order yeah, yeah. in one society. Yeah. Another society is completely anarchy. Which one would you prefer? Okay. From so, your perspective. So what I would say from is an, if you uh, go from the existing uh, situation overnight to a lawless society. I didn't say overnight. Well, you said I say, let's, ruling, let's say you I had some time it? to think about it. No, no, no. What would you conclude? Okay, so, <laughs> so what I would probably conclude yes. is to go, if I had that power, which is kind of unlikely, um, I would it's try, hypothetical, of course. I would, I would try to go from uh, the state of mind that people are currently to a state of greater understanding and it could take a long time to do so that. So you're going to individually study every person? No, no, I would through education and t teaching and... Oh, wait, 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 but education involves many laws. No, that's what I just said. I just said it could education happen overnight. Laws, maybe. Yeah, but even education itself is a law in, in its own place. So when you when your son or your child goes to school, they are, in fact they are told the do's and the don'ts. I think it would the first do's and don'ts that my when my when my son went to school, he had to wear a particular uniform. He had to wear particular color of shoes. That's pretty there much are, rules. There are other schools called Steiner schools yeah, that do not apply those kind of rules. There. Yeah, when he was in lower class, he didn't have those rules. Well, but when he went to higher class, he had that rule. In higher class. Yeah, but look, I'm not talking well, about exception. I'm saying every... Take... Take anyway, uh, you, no, no, wait, wait. This is getting away. Yeah, I think we, we, yeah. we just... Because this is I like think, asking me a... a we can conclude this. No, no, but... but this madly John, John, this well, is well, not well, hypothetical. Even if I demoted you and put you in charge of the traffic, Demoted you from the yeah, ruler yeah. to a traffic, uh, yeah. what do you say, yeah. um, uh, so, someone in charge, tra a traffic minister, for example. Would you have no rules on the road or would you have rules for driving? Uh, it's pretty much obvious. Yeah. Come on. John. But rules you, is not judgment. What is rules then? Rules are guidelines. And if you don't follow the guidelines, then what happens? Consequences. That's called judgment. Thank that you very much. No, no, That's no, called no, judgment. It's not called judgment. <laughs> if you get a parking ticket, it's, it's called judgment. It's called car crash. Can, can, can no, no, if you get a parking... Crash. What about a parking ticket? Parking ticket. Let's conclude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Look, look, we get the idea. The conclusive, conclusive <laughs> statement, yeah? The conclusive statement is this. Yeah. What are saying in an Islamic point of view? We have a, a, a world where we have rules and we have regulations. I think every, that everything that has got, um, what do you say, that has got a law and order yeah. is something that is something orderly. Yeah. If you don't have law and order, even nature, nature itself, you know, okay. we have the laws order. of physics and all that. Without yeah. that, it'll be chaos. Survival of the fittest. So, so what, 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 we're saying, order. what we're saying, what we're saying, <laughs> which John, is the kind of law, if you ask what me. What we're saying is we have a, 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 a worldview, but we have a creator separate from his creation. We don't believe that the creator is the, in the lowest or the highest. From our determination as humans, that we say, this is good, this is bad, this is yeah. not, I don't like this, I like this. From our determination, we say that the creator is always in the highest. 
We say that that creator is separate from that from this universe. We say that that creator gives us morality. We teach our children morality in order for us not to only have chaos around us, but for them to get to have good morals and for them to have good behaviors. Smile in other people's faces. Charity in Islam. Remove something from the road is charity in Islam, right? To give is charity in Islam. All of these things are things encouraging Islam, which I know, you know, deep down inside that these are good things to do, even though you don't want to label as good or bad, right? So that is our worldview as Muslims, which we are inviting you like to help. help. That is what we're inviting you to as Muslims, right? That's why we say, give a proper reading of the Quran, take your time, think about these kind of things that we were talking about today. Which society, which world is better? Which creator is better? Which world view is better? Think about that. There's nothing, nothing so to I, lose I from me to make, or you. I, I need to make some judgments about 100%. how things should be. 100%. It, it was a, a, a good discussion. Interesting discussion. We have yeah? benefited from you. We don't have many pentheists here to discuss with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're probably one, yeah. the only one I, I met no, in the park. No, no, there was yeah. another one, yeah, but he wasn't a regular. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're a regular. <laughs> So, pleasure talking to you, John. Yeah. We need to go. As Thanks well, a lot, you know? John. I'll yeah. keep that gloves now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I no, 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 the other issue with that it was, it was about not uh, doing something against someone. It's not quite the same as giving everything. But of course, actually, when things are authentic, then you do give. Yeah, 100. percent Anyway, we'll see you, John. Cheers. Thank Take you. Care. Thank Take you. care. Thanks for your time. Okay. You're right and wrong.